Hi, I'm Kelly Vint Castro, the original young Catherine from Stargate, and um, also the founder of Conscious Partnership Coaching with my amazing husband, Rudy. And um, I want to just talk for a moment about Law of Attraction and this Stargate coming back literally into my life after 25 years. Um, and just a little bit about even you know the background for me with law of attraction I think I saw it for the first time I saw the secret maybe 17 years ago and I thought wow that's so cool and then I went through different stages of oh god that's ridiculous um, to it's terrible and you know now having been in the practice of really consciously creating my life for the last gosh almost 10 years I can say that without a doubt um, this is a real thing. So we will attract experiences that we will we are equal to in frequency or consciousness. And this Stargate thing is such a demonstration of that. So I originally starred in the film 25 years ago. I was 11 years old and um, I did not really understand the bigness of it. I didn't get how many people were gonna fall in love with it and that it was gonna become a show. and all of these things. I was just a young kid and went to the audition and had so much fun on the set and it was a really amazing experience. And then, you know, years went by, I stopped acting. I was pretty sure I was never going to ever be in the business again. And a few years ago, my husband and I made the decision to start working in that business. And we have been so blessed and so fortunate to do several commercials and print jobs with our family, which all were very intentional, by the way. We set out intentions to travel and um, work together, and we booked a cruise commercial. So we got to go on a seven-day, seven-night cruise to the Caribbean with our family that was all paid for because we were doing this commercial for an amazing company called Avoya Travel. Uh, just a shout out to them. And you know, it, it's been such an amazing journey. And so I didn't think I would be back in that industry. I certainly didn't think I would ever have anything to do with Stargate again. And this is the way that the universe works. I, you know, set out to do some theatrical stuff and I really clearly said that I wanted to play some kind of agent, right? So um, it was more from a place of, of thought and intention. And I took all this action, right? Doing all these things and trying to make stuff happen. And then I stopped. I really was not taking action from that place for a while and working more on my insides and what's so funny is I got an email from my theatrical agent, I think two days before um, getting the notification that I was going to be coming back on Stargate that they were dropping me. And so that was one of the actions that I took to make all this stuff happen and bring back my theatrical career. And so they let me go and then this showed up and it just goes to show that I don't always know. In fact, um, oftentimes I don't know what's going to line up or what's going to happen to have those intentions be fulfilled so i can get really clear about what i'm committed to and then i've got to surrender the details to the universe right because i wouldn't have been able to sit at the whiteboard on my best day and come up with hey stargate's going to make a new show and they're going to invite me to come back and do a part and what is so beautiful about this is that i look back at that time in my life and i was 11 like i said I was still connected to my mom and my dad and my two sisters and we were one family unit and it was one of the last memories I have of innocence, of this sweet childlike place. And after that, a lot of things happened in my family, in my personal life. And there was a lot of what felt like darkness before the, the dawn. And, um, now, here I am with my family, my husband, and my three kids, and creating, once again, that space of innocence, and love, and connection, and what do you know, Stargate, here it is again. And I think I can say this without revealing too much about 
the show, I don't think this matters, but I literally went to the set and they had me wear the same gloves that I wore as a kid on the set of that film. And I was holding the same necklace and it brought back so many memories of that time in my life. And it was such a profound healing experience. So not only did I get to play the agent and do something awesome in the world of theatrical career, but I got to heal something in me and reconnect to a place that um, I don't know if it was forgotten or just not remembered for a long time, but it was really beautiful. And so what I know is this, there have been many moments on this path where I could have said, I'm not doing the work, I'm done, I'm checking out, because it has been uncomfortable and it has been, um, it's been painful at times to rearrange my consciousness. That's the truth. Spiritual growing pains hurt. And to keep showing up day after day and to be willing to go inward and look at these things and look at the beliefs or the limitations that I've set upon myself and others and the world and to remove those feels like surgery. So it is surgery. That's why it feels like that. And it's sort of a death. And so it feels like grieving sometimes. But here's what I have found is that it's worth it. And here we are in another holiday season. And I've got to say, right, 10 years on the path, the holidays have been a really challenging time and they feel challenging already. And so now it's time to be a spiritual ninja and up my spiritual game and stay centered and stay grounded so that I can continue to heal and continue to attract what we truly all are, which is love, which is abundance, which is joy. And so anything that is not in alignment with that, those are just those things that we continuously get to let go of. So um, that's my bit on Law of Attraction for today. Bless you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you soon.